everyone. Um, I'm making dinner right now, so I just wanted to show you a really quick marinade. Um, for these steaks, I have two ribeyes that I got from my local butcher. Um, they're about a pound each. Um, and I'm just going to put them in a really simple marinade. So here in this container, I have um, just some diced garlic and some rosemary leaves. And to it, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of olive oil, a few shakes of red wine vinegar, not too much, but just a little bit for some acidity, a, about, about a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt right in there, and I'm also going to crack some um, black pepper in there, and I'm holding the camera with one hand, so I uh, need to put that down to do that, so I will be putting pepper in here, and what I'll be doing is adding a little more salt and pepper right onto the steaks themselves, and then just tossing them in this really simple, quick marinade, and letting them sit until they get to room temperature. Now, I don't let them sit overnight, or for really any amount of time in here, um, just until the chill comes off them from the refrigerator, and I'm ready to cook them. So I just let them sit out on the counter. Um, I do this because I don't, I want to be able to get the uh, rosemary and garlic off of the steaks before they cook because I don't want them burning in the pan. Um, so this is just a quick uh, flavor infuser, I, I guess you would call it. And um, it makes the steaks taste really good. And another thing, I don't like to over season um, ribeyes because these were eight ninety nine a pound. So um, I don't like to over season them or anything because they have a wonderful flavor just on their own. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. And after they come out of the marinade and I'm ready to cook them, I cook them in about a quarter stick of uh, butter and I put it in the pan. And I let it get brown, I uh, let the butter brown, and then I put my steaks in there. I, I, it gives it a really good flavor, uh, the brown butter. And, uh, yeah, so that's all. I'm just going to coat the steaks in this marinade, and I'll show you the steaks when they are done. So I just wanted to show you guys what I meant by the brown butter. Um, you can actually see, I, well I have my uh, butter in the pan and I also have a tablespoon or two of olive oil. And you can see the butter start to turn golden brown. Um, you don't want to let it go too long before you put the steaks in, but this makes all the difference for a really good steak. So I'm going to go ahead and get the steaks in the pan. done cooking and uh, alongside this we're going to have this California blend. It has um, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in it. I'm only going to eat the broccoli and cauliflower um, but my fiance might want the carrots so that's why I'm making that. And as to not waste any of the butter or oil or beef fat and uh, beef flavor that's in this pan, um, I'm just going to steam these until they're all the way done and toss them in here for flavor because it has all the salt and garlic and um, like I said all the beef flavor so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, for dinner tonight and I will show you the finished product. Okay so I'm cooking um, the California blend. I steamed it in the microwave and I threw it in this pan and another great thing um, is that it deglazes the pan of all of the dripping um, and it makes the pan uh, ultimately easier to clean at the end of the night um, as well as you know flavoring the, all the vegetables so um, that's a really good thing to do after you cook steak, chicken, pork, anything um, is to make sure you get all that flavor off the bottom of your pan <laughs> uh, don't waste that delicious. So yeah, like I said, I will be showing you the finished product.